Hello, welcome to the Thursday, July 5th, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from New York City, New York. Well, we've got a couple of small things to talk about today. First of all, Didi is sharing a trick how to use Process Explorer in order to get a progress report on your Windows shell scripts. So this way you know how many bytes they have already read, like DDA uses that often in order to, for example, check the progress on scripts that are, for example, parsing log files. We also got a good comment here from a reader about how to do this with PowerShell scripts using the write progress commandlet that builds a progress bar for you, either as text or graphical. And then we have yet another browser extension that went bad. This time it is Stylish. Stylish is an extension that allows you to change the appearance of websites to make them easier to read. Now, this browser extension is quite popular and was actually harmless until January 2017 when it changed owners. And we have seen this before where a good developer that developed an extension like this sells it off to a company that does have other motives than just to maintain a great extension. In this case, the extension will exfiltrate your browser history. This extension has now been removed from various browser extension sites, but still be careful if you still have it installed, uninstall it now. And researchers from UC Santa Barbara and Northeastern University took a look at 17,000 different Android applications. Most of them came from the Google Play Store, about 15,000. The remainder came from other popular Android stores. What they found was that many of these applications are asking for permissions, which they actually don't use. While, okay, this may just be a leftover sort of from development. When a researcher used these permissions for some debugging, but then never turned them off when they actually released the application. The problem here is that now third party libraries that are included in the application could take advantage of uh, these permissions and then use them against the user. Aside from the fact that so many applications are actually over provisioning their permissions, they didn't see any evidence that in any of these applications they looked at that these permissions were actually used against the user. Well, and this is our today post-holiday abbreviated podcast. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.